imagine what these people think up there. YouTubers, damn YouTubers in Boston. <laughs> So disposable film cameras have a long history, but the modern disposable film cameras that we think about in 35 millimeter came out in the late 1980s. And Fujifilm was actually the first company that developed the 35 millimeter disposable camera. So basically what these are is cameras that are preloaded with 35 millimeter film, usually color film. These were really popular with tourists and people going on travel who didn't really want to lug around a camera or couldn't afford a traditional 35 millimeter film camera. So you could get them anywhere like grocery stores and drug stores and gas stations. The onset of the digital era led to declining sales of disposable cameras. Cameras. Today, these cameras have been relegated to a market of artists, hipsters, and millennial YouTubers like me. And so for me, they're a really nostalgic part of my childhood. I shot a lot of these on family vacations. Today, I'm gonna to be taking some pictures of my friend Lily, and we're gonna be starting out with a Fujifilm quick snap camera. You can do that. Perfect. Just gonna shoot one more. I really wish you, I had like one of those like 90s visor caps. <laughs> like fake jumping. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> Just do like this. <laughs> All right, I got two shots. So often historic landmarks need to be renovated. So we got a nice looking scaffolding and construction site here. Alrighty. Let's do one. So we are at zero. <laughs> Very good. It's a little bit of City J walking. It's all good. All right, so the next camera we'll be shooting with is a Kodak disposable camera. And this is a little bit of a faster film than the last one. The Fuji camera had a 400 ISO film in it. This has 800 ISO. After Fuji introduced their disposable cameras in the late 1980s, a lot of the other camera manufacturers jumped on them as well. And Kodak was a major competitor in the disposable camera market. That looks cool. We got our umbrella here. Oh, you got it back. <laughs> I did get it back, yeah. This umbrella has become a very popular prop in Boston portrait photos, so I will give this to my friend Lily. Closer, I'll wait for these people to walk by. Actually do that. <laughs> Actually do that, just be like looking out on, under the umbrella. Dip, dip it down a little lower, the umbrella. Can you move it? Yeah, yeah. Alrighty. Cool. And then you can take it back up and... <laughs> can I stand under your umbrella? Ella, Ella, eh, eh. <laughs> so, I like this, this white staircase here. Just look there. So we're outside my house. Gorgeous Commonwealth Avenue. Pretty rich, I just, you know, make YouTube videos on the side. <laughs> So now we're gonna be shooting with a black and white disposable camera. This one is Ilford loaded with XP2 film. And XP2 is a 400 speed black and white film. Uh, so I'm gonna take some pictures of Lily in the public alley and try to get some grittier looks to the photos and we'll see how these turn out. That black and white life. <laughs> Very cool. I'll start with you just going a couple, couple up. Yeah, look that direction like you were just doing. Let me get one more. <laughs> it is a little rickety, huh? Did it for the gram. <laughs> I 
So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and seeing us play around and shoot with these disposable cameras. So I'll put links to the in the description to Manny and Sebastian who have been so kind as to help me film this video today. And then Lily who has helped out with doing a little bit of modeling for me. So be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. You can do that by clicking on the red box down below or by clicking on the subscribe link in the channel on the video. So we'll see you soon folks. This has been another episode of Dan Bowen Photography. Peace. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> <laughs>